everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 31141, Main Street, from the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 theme. This set contains 1,459 pieces, 6 minifigures, and will retail for $139.99 in the US, as well as the same price in most places in Europe. This set was, of course, set to me for review by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. This set is not officially released until August 1st, 2023, but it was set to me early by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. So this set is of course a creator 3-in-1 set, meaning there is three separate builds. Now when I did my unboxing of this set, there was a few people in the comments saying they wanted to see the alternate builds, however there wasn't like a huge demand for it, and just because LEGO sent me a lot of August sets earlier for reviews, I'm not going to be covering the alternate builds in this video, because it just makes the whole review process take a lot longer, and I want to dedicate more time to the other reviews which seem more popular on this channel. However, I still don't want to write the idea off completely, so if you guys do want to see the alternate builds of this set, let me know in the comments, and if there's a big demand in the comment section of this video after I'm finished with my other reviews, I'll do another video covering the two alternate builds of this set. But yeah, we're just gonna take a look at the main build in this video because, of course, this is the one on the front of the box. And as the name of the set may suggest, it's a little Main Street. There's four total buildings here. There's a hotel on the side, and then there's a music store, a record store, and then a coffee shop on the end. And these buildings are actually built modularly. And by that, I mean you can remove each of them and rearrange them if you want, because each of the buildings have technic pins on the side to allow them to connect. So I'm just gonna take it apart for now. You can see it all comes apart super easily. Just two pins between each building. And now here's every single one separated. So we'll start with the building that was on the right side, the coffee shop and this is probably my favorite of the four buildings in this set. There's a nice little seating area out front with two chairs, and of course a table in the middle for them to have their coffee. Moving down the street, you can see there's a jumper piece right here to attach a figure. There's tons of those in this set, and there's a little plant pot at the end too, but then there's just tons of open studs. The sign to the coffee shop is like this brick-built mug, and I think that looks amazing, and it's got this printed donut piece too, and I'm actually not sure if I've ever seen that part before. So I'm not sure if it's new, but regardless, it's a really good part to get. But yeah, we got this glass door right here that opens up, and inside you can see there's some plants growing on the wall with purple flowers on them. It's like crawling up like a vine. A little counter right here with a coffee mug on it and a big coffee machine in the back. You can of course have the barista minifigure behind the counter, but yeah, there's not a ton else to that. Coming to this side of the building though, you can see there's two technicals right here. This is of course where you can connect this to the other parts of the set if you want. And then there's like this little alleyway build. If we turn this around, you can see there's this tree growing out of the back right here. It's only made up of a few parts, but I think it looks nice. And then there's also a ladder back here to get up to this upper level. Now this upper level looks to be a little apartment. You can see it's all teal on the outside, which is a pretty cool color. I especially love this foliage growing on the left side. You can see it's just a bit of vines. And they've got those purple flowers on them, just like the foliage we saw in the coffee shop. But yeah, I think it looks fantastic the way that starts at the top of the building and just moves down. We also have solar panels at the top right here, which is a nice touch. And looking inside, there's a bookshelf, a plant in a pot, a little camera, as well as a desk with a light on it. So just a very basic, simple apartment. Not too much going on. This window on the side can open up if that's something you want to do, but I don't really have too much else to say about this. It's cozy, it's nice, but it's nothing all too complex, because I mean, that's kind of the point of LEGO Creator. It typically uses somewhat basic parts. This upper level is also made to be very easily removed if you want to do that. You can see it just connects on with four studs. So if you want to just display the coffee shop on its own, you can. Or if you just want the apartment on its own, though this one doesn't look nearly as good. So yeah, I think the coffee shop here is fantastic. I really love this build. It is, of course, on the simpler side of things, but I think it works, and I feel like it would integrate pretty well into a LEGO city. But now coming to the next building, here is the record store. And I love the colors on this one. The yellow and orange just really pop. The way they did the sign's pretty cute to be like a little record player. I know it's literally only two parts, but I feel like it's done pretty well. I like the rounded pillars they have around the front, too. That's pretty nice. But yeah, my favorite part about this is the colors, and then, of course, you can open this door up, and that gives you access to the interior, and if we turn this around, here you can see what's actually inside. So there's a record player in the center right here, and then two different bins, one on each side. This one has two different printed tiles in it, and this one just has one. So I'm going to remove each of those. And I think what these are meant to be are the little records that you could buy. However, LEGO Creator doesn't really introduce new printed parts, which is why I assume that donut's not a new printed piece. So it's of getting all new record prints, LEGO's just reusing a lot of their painting pieces, which like if this is the one and only LEGO set you have, I guess it works. I could see this as an album cover, but at least to me personally, I know this is a LEGO painting piece. I mean, you can literally see the frame around the side. So I get what they were going for with this, and I guess it is the best option without introducing any new prints, but it does feel a little bit silly just to have paintings as the records. This one on the other side is a little bit more uncommon, I think. I personally don't recognize it a ton, but it's just elephants in front of the sunset, and yeah, it's once again another painting. And that's about it for the interior of the record store. However, there is something above the top, because you can see on top of the store, there's this little place where a concert to be performed. We've got these two strobe lights on each side, these giant speakers at the back, and then this drum set in the center, which I actually really love that build of the drum set. At the back, there's a place for a minifigure to sit. You can see you can attach the bottoms of their feet to these studs right here. So, for example, we'll take the actual drummer minifigure in this set, just slide her in like that, fold her up, and we'll take a look at her up closer when we look at the minifigures, but you can see she comes with two of the LEGO Harry Potter wand pieces to be drumsticks, and I think that works pretty well. This is yet another very fun part of this set. This entire stage section can also be removed, just like the apartment area, and there's like a how that looks on its own. And then the stage has almost the same footprint as the apartment building, so if you want to mix and match, you can. 
put the apartment on top of here instead. Doesn't look nearly as good, but hey, it's another option. This stage though is five studs wide while the apartment's only four. So if you try to put the stage on top of the coffee shop, it will be hanging off the back a little bit. So while I do prefer the default way things are laid out, I do like that there is an alternate option if you want. But now we come to the next building, which is of course the music store. Just like the other two buildings, this one has separatable sections. However, there's a total of three in this one instead of just two. The roof can come off and then the upper floor can come off and then you're just left with the base building like this. I love the theming of everything out the front here. You can see there's a bit of sheet music, I guess, to be a little sign for the front of the store. But then there's also a giant piano out front to indicate what this is. Those are all printed parts of the keys too, which are fantastic to get. And of course, there's the door right here that opens up. Inside, you can see there's just some music equipment for sale. We've got a guitar on the wall, a piano on the side, which is only made of a few parts. But again, I think that looks pretty good. I like those printed key pieces. And then there's one big speaker in the very back. Then reattaching the level above that, here we actually have like a little recording studio. You've got this glass separating these two sections. On the one side, there's a seat with a microphone in front of it and like some soundproofing on the wall. And on the other side, there's like a control panel with lights and everything. That's actually captured really well. I like that. And then turning it around, it's fairly basic from the front. I really don't have too much to say about this part. Then coming to the topmost level, the roof. I actually really like the design of this roof. The dark blue and the white go together so nicely. I like how they used all these stamp pieces on the top too. That's a very fun design. And then turning it around, taking a look inside. I'm not sure exactly what this is meant to be. You can see there's a seat in front of a computer and then there's a little map on the wall. So this could be like the checkout station or this could be another apartment. I guess it's entirely up to your own imagination. But yeah, unfortunately, because LEGO Creator doesn't use stickers, that computer screen piece is just completely unprinted. But there you go, there's the music store in its entirety. Just like the two sections we looked at before, the footprint on this part of the build is exactly the same as all the other buildings. So if you want to mix and match the removable parts, you can. I'm not going to show you all the different combinations in this video because we'd just be here forever because there is a lot of different options. But just know that option is available. You can take the roof off, put it on top of the coffee shop. You can have the concert area on top of the music store. It's entirely up to you. And then we come to the final and biggest building in this set, the hotel. And this thing is beautiful. I honestly really like how this looks. I love how textured everything is on the outside. The use of the ingot pieces alternating with like the brick pieces works really well. Got lots of these little flags coming off too, which make it feel very elegant. The use of the Harry Potter candlestick pieces in gold too work great as like trim for everything. And I like how there's some flowers growing out here too. That's a fun touch. Now everything does get a little simpler as you move up. However, it still looks good. I especially love the teal trim around the windows. And then the topmost level is very elegant once again. The walls are very flat. However, I like the little balconies too. Here. And you can see there's lots of these flags all over the place. There's a total of six on the top level plus two on the bottom level. I like how the tops of the windows round off. And then the grand gold to be the roof cap everything off so well. There's also a sign on the outside that's meant to say the word hotel. And I mean, it kind of works. Definitely not the best looking in the world. Like, I think that T is a little bit funky. That E is definitely a bit funky. But I mean, it is still readable, so it's clear what it's supposed to be. But now, of course, coming back down to the base and opening this door up, we can actually take a look inside. And on the first floor, there's, of course, a hotel lobby. You've got a desk right here for a person to stand behind. A little couch for people waiting in the hotel to sit as well as this lamp overhead. It looks very cozy. It feels like it'd be a nice place to be. Then coming up to the next level, we have our first actual hotel room. There's a desk with a seat and a lamp, a table with a potted plant, and then finally a red bed in the corner. The bed's of course the perfect size for a minifig to lay down on, so there's how that looks. And then coming to the top floor, there's another one of those beds as well as a bathtub, which is very fun. And then instead of that desk, there's a door in the center which can open up, and that of course leads out to this balcony in the front. And then finally coming to the roof, you can see there's just tons of studs here, a piece of machinery, whether that's like an air conditioning unit or a radiator or whatever, but you could still put some figures up there if you wanted to. But I think that's about all I have to say for the actual main build of this set. Overall, I did like this set, however, I can't say I'm the biggest fan of the creator way of doing things. I get the point of these sets is that they use a lot of basic pieces to make them easy to rebuild into the other builds, but I don't know, especially after reviewing LEGO City sets. Those are also sets meant for a very young audience, but they have a lot more to them than this. I do really like a lot of the parts of the build, like I think the hotel's fantastic, the coffee shop's pretty cute, and both the music and the record store are good, but there's something about this set that just feels really simple to me, and I get that's kind of the point of the theme, so if you like the creator style sets, you'll probably still like this one. But I don't know, for $140, I can't help but feel like this set leaves a little bit to be desired. But I think that's about all I have to say on the build of this set, at least for now. I'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of this video. Now, let's take a look at the minifigures that come in this set. So here are the first two minifigures in the set, and the only two minifigures in the set that I believe have all new torso pieces. I'm not positive on that, but they both fit the theme of this set. And I looked them up on Brick Lake, and I couldn't find these torsos on any other minifigures. But anyway, we have this male character who's meant to be the hotel clerk, and then this female character who I assume is meant to be shopping at the record store, considering she has a record on her torso. The hotel clerk, though, is a surprisingly amazing minifigure. I really, really love the design of his torso. He uses like metallic silver, or it might even be metallic blue for his like bow tie, and he's got like these little wave designs too all over. That looks really elegant, that is a really fantastic part. And then his face print is just a generic Lego City face, however it is a really good one, glad to see it's coming in sets. And then turning him around, you can see the back torso print not nearly as good, but there is still a bit of metallic printing, and unfortunately there is no alternate face on him. 
Then the female minifigure is a blue jack gnome with that record shirt underneath. I think that looks super cool. And even though it's a solid color, I actually really like the use of coral for her legs. I feel like that's a color I don't see on Lego minifigure legs that often, so it's a nice one to get. Her hairpiece, though, is an incredibly common one. Slightly more uncommon color for it, but an incredibly common hairpiece. And taking that piece off, you can see she does have an alternate face, where she's just closing her eyes instead. Yeah, as far as just like generic civilians go, I think these are both pretty great. I'm pretty happy with them. Then here are the next two figures, and I don't believe the parts on either of these figures are exclusive at all, but there are still nice parts to get. We have this girl who comes with drumsticks, and then this guy who's in a wheelchair. The drummer girl, I do like that torso piece. I feel like it's very common. I have quite a few of it. However, it is still nice to see. The back of that torso print is pretty great, and I do like how she actually has printed legs. That's a nice touch. Face print, as I said, is not new, but it does have like metallic pink for the lipstick, which is very fun. And then blue for the ponytail piece is also just a very creative color. Taking that hairpiece off, there's like your alternate face where you can see she's just confident and happy. And then the male minifigure, as I mentioned, does come in a wheelchair, which it's always nice to see that because those are not the most common parts, but obviously very good ones to get. This is the one that was introduced for Lego Avatar last year, so I'm happy to see that's coming in more themes. And yeah, it's just a really good part in general. Would have been cool to get in a new color and not just the same one from Lego Avatar, but not a ton of people bought those Avatar sets considering they're on like super clearance right now. So I am happy to see a re-release. There's a look at the full minifigure and that hairpiece and face print are fairly generic. However, I do actually quite like that torso print on him with the mountains. And turning him around, you can see he just has some folds in his shirt. And you can see he does not have any alternate face. And then here are the final two minifigures. We have a little girl and we have a barista. Very common face print for the girl. She just has glasses and freckles. And her torso is pretty common as well with the blueberry and the strawberry on it. However, I actually quite like her hairpiece. Now, that hairpiece itself is pretty common, but it is a really good one. However, this hairpiece is in dark brown and typically we get it in black. So I'm not sure if that's an all new recolor for this set, but even if it's not, it's a fairly uncommon one, so I'm happy to see that. And you can see she does not have any alternate face, but the back torso print is fairly decent. And then the barista just uses Lego's generic coffee shop worker design that they've been using since, what, the Lego movie in 2014? But it's cute. I like the little coffee mug and the overalls. And he does have printed legs, which is nice to see in a creator set. It looks like this character has a beard and also has a hearing aid in. And then his hat comes from the newspaper boy in one of the previous Lego collectible minifigure series. So yeah, definitely the two least interesting figures in this entire set. However, they're still not bad. I think all six figures in this set fit pretty well. And honestly, all things considered, this is a Lego creator set. The minifigures are not like the main draw. So the fact that there are so many good ones here is actually really nice to see. But overall, what are my thoughts on this set? I don't know. Maybe creator's just not for me, but I just have a tough time having like any real opinions at all about this set. Like there are some things that look good. I do like the hotel. I like the sign on the coffee shop on the outside. But I think the biggest thing is just how simple all the interiors are. It feels like it's missing the life that LEGO City, LEGO Friends, or Ninjago City sets in the same style have. And that is the point of LEGO Creator, so if you want a simpler LEGO experience, I do think this is a good set. But for me personally, I don't think I'd recommend it. Because I don't know, for a similar price, you need a set around the same scale from another theme, and I feel like there's just so much more in those than there is in this. Now, of course, I do have to keep in mind there is the three-in-one aspect to this set. You can take it apart and rebuild it into two other builds. So if that's something that's valuable to you, then maybe this set's worth it. But to me personally, I don't know. I don't have any real desire to take this apart and rebuild it, and I feel like it wouldn't change my opinion too much. So yeah, if you're a fan of Creative 3 and 1, you might still like this set, but to me personally, I don't think you need it. There's probably better sets out there. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!